everyone, Saki here and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I am back officially. The couple of videos that you've been seeing are actually all pre-recorded, so I haven't made a new video in a while. As you may or may not know, um, my husband and I just got married in Thailand and then we went on a week-long honeymoon to Europe. And yes, we're finally back. It's been weird settling in back to reality. We had such a good time on our wedding trip. Um, we got married in Thailand and we were there for a week and then we went to Barcelona and then Venice and then Milan so we've had a crazy couple of past weeks and yeah it's just been so surreal if you follow me on Instagram you might have gotten a couple of sneak peeks of things that I've bought here and there on our trip so today I decided to reveal one of those items to you I'm splitting my purchases up into three separate videos the one that I'm filming for you today is actually like a bigger bag purchase spoiler alert so I decided to give this one its whole own video so that we can do a little first impressions of the bag and I can tell you a little bit more about it and so on and so forth. And then the other videos will be showing you what I actually bought on our honeymoon trip in Europe. I also have two vlogs for my trip to Europe that I'm planning to upload as well. So a lot of exciting content coming to my channel. But yeah, let's just get straight on to this reveal slash unboxing. Before we get started, I just wanted to say a quick hello and welcome to anyone new who might be watching my channel who's a little bit confused. My name is Saki. I make videos every single week on cute and luxury fashion. I really, really, really love the color pink and I love handbags and shopping. So if you like any of those things as well, please, please subscribe to my channel because I do upload videos every single week and I think you'll really like it here. And yeah, with all of that out of the way, let's get started. So I actually bought this item in Thailand. So it's technically what I'm calling our wedding souvenir or my wedding souvenir because it has really nothing to do with Noah. But I did buy it um, right after after the wedding in Bangkok we actually went to um, Icon Siam which is a huge huge new mall in Bangkok there are a ton a ton a ton a ton of malls in Bangkok but this one I think is the most or the newest one um, there are a ton of luxury stores it was really really fun shopping there um, and I really unexpectedly walked into the store and did not expect to buy anything let alone a bag i mean even if you know me i don't think that you'd be able to guess what this is the brand i've never even looked at before so yeah it's going to be a huge surprise but i'm so excited because it's amazing so this is the box right here it was a little tough bringing back everything because this box is freaking huge and it doesn't fold down or anything and i actually didn't even bring back the bag because it did get damaged in the process so I only have the box with me today and yes as you can see the brand is Bulgari which I've never bought anything from before come to mention it I've never actually even looked at any of their stuff before because I just wasn't interested and I don't feel like it's one of those brands that like have like super popular bags I know that they had like a little you know like moment um maybe a couple of years ago when they were giving away like all the Serpenti bags to the fashion bloggers but other than that I don't think that it's a brand that people really you know associate with bags and stuff nowadays because it is a jewelry brand but for some reason I walked in there I think it's because I might have saw like a glimpse of this bag and I just have some sort of like pink radar when it comes to shopping literally all of my friends make fun of me because I can go into a store and like automatically just go to the like one or two pink items in the store because it like calls to me or something it makes shopping for the things I love a lot easier because I don't have to look through everything my like pink radar kind of just filters everything out so I'm pretty sure that's what happened with this bag because honestly it was just so random how I went in anyways this is the box that it came in this is actually a special limited edition box normally the Bulgari boxes are like more of a copper with a gold color um, but this bag is actually a limited edition bag so it came with its own special box you'll see how it relates to the box once you see the bag but yes opening the box kind of opens like an iPhone box where it kind of slides out like that the desk bag is also special because it has like the limited edition design on it it has the serpent's head on it and it says Bulgari and now to reveal the bag that I got and it is the Bulgari Serpenti crossbody bag. Ah! <laughs> how cute is this bag? Oh, I just love looking at it. Look how pretty it is. I love this bag so freaking much whenever I see it. It makes me so, so happy. I think it goes really, really well with like all the other bags on my shelf too. 
ah, how adorable is this so yeah like I said I had never been interested in this bag because I'm actually a little bit afraid of snakes so I didn't really think that I would like the serpentine line and if you didn't know Bulgari is actually a um, like jewelry brand but they do have like a couple of bags that they sell and this is probably their most recognizable like line it comes in a variety of different you know kind of styles but all of the serpenti bags do have this like snake head design on it there's like a smaller crossbody and I think this might be like the larger one with the top handle anyway this is my favorite design because as you know if you watch my channel I do really really love top handle bags and you can already see like how really similar it is to a couple of bags I just have on my shelf right now like my new YSL bag and then also my Chanel trendy CC kind of has this you know square shaped style with the top handle I think that's one of the things that drew me to this bag I just love this kind of like satchel it almost looks like a book bag like an old school like I don't know schoolgirl kind of book bag anyways I've always been drawn to this like style of purse so when I saw this I just I fell in love with it like the serpenti bags that I've seen before are just like the really small mini crossbodies that is like the same design and shape but it doesn't have this um like top handle and then the width isn't like as wide either it's just like a really tiny crossbody that you can fit like two things in so when I saw this design I immediately fell in love just because of the shape and yes I was kind of skeptical about the serpent's head because like I said I don't really like snakes but I don't know when I saw this first I thought it was really really cute so if you look at it really closely it's got like black eyes and then it's got this red design on like the forehead and then it's also got a little bit of pink in it the normal Bulgari Serpenti bags actually um, have green eyes and the coloring is a little bit different the green eyes freak me out so I think that's probably why I like this one and I'm okay with this one because it has the black eyes but for some reason like the jade green eyes just like give me nightmares so um, yeah I just didn't like that at all but yeah I actually think this little guy is cute he's like a little baby <laughs> anyway so this this bag was actually a limited edition to Thailand. I was doing a little bit of research online on the Bulgari bags that are being sold right now and it kind of seems like every country has like their own limited release kind of. There are some bags that overlap in a few countries like I saw one beautiful like beige and pink one that I really really want um, but that one's only been released in like Korea, Hong Kong, and Australia for some reason. And then um, of course Japan has their own limited like Sakura edition which is so so beautiful it looks exactly like this it's the same color but the serpent's head is actually pink and white without the red and then on the inside it has this beautiful floral design so I really really love that bag too but like I said it is the exact same shade as this one that I have that I already bought so that's why I'm not really lusting after it the thing that's special about my bag because they do have the pink and red version in other countries as well but the thing that's different about my bag is that actually the side is a little bit different from the other ones it's got a red slip a pink slip and then a white one whereas the other ones just have the red um so yeah it's a little bit different and the sales associate that I talked to said this one specifically with the tri-color on the sides is specific just to Thailand so hopefully that's true because that would make it really really special but another thing that I do want to mention is that I did get it tax free as well or actually I got my taxes back um after getting a refund at the airport so it is just like Europe you can get your tax back so it makes the shopping a little bit cheaper so while we're we're talking about prices I will actually look it up for you online what this costs in the US all right so there are a couple of different versions online in the US website but it looks to be about $2,450 to $2,500 and like I said this one is the limited edition release from Thailand so there isn't like this exact one but the one that's really similar that looks to be like you know limited edition to the United States or whatever is $2,500 so that is how much it is if you bought it in the US and I paid, so I paid 73,000 baht, which is $2,212, but then I got a refund. 
So I actually paid $2,086 on this. So that is like $400 to $500 cheaper, which is a significant amount, especially for a luxury bag. So I did save a pretty penny on this, which I'm really excited about. I also wanted to go over a little bit about the first impressions I have of this bag and also like the structure and everything, just in case you guys are interested in this bag. There are literally like no YouTube videos about this bag. I think I might have found maybe two and neither of them were about this bag with like the top hand handle. So yeah, I figured I'd take a little bit of time talking about this bag in case you guys were interested in it. Um, the front of the bag just looks like this. It's got this really cool, unique design with like these stitched leather. And then on the back, it's actually the same. You can see how the pieces of leather kind of like fold over and then get stitched. And then there is a little Bulgari logo like in the middle. The one that I have is in gold hardware as well, which you know I love gold hardware, so I'm super excited about that. Um, the top handle is really, really cute and comfortable. It's big enough where you can carry it on the crook of your arm. And then the crossbody strap actually attaches to these little rings um, by this little hook thing. So it is detachable if you'd like. Um, there are so many cute little details like the little... Um, ringlets here say Bulgari as well as the little rings on the top handle as well and then of course uh, Bulgari is known for like their serpent line or their serpent themes and their stuff so along with this serpent's head the chain also looks like a thin body of a snake which I kind of thought would freak me out but it doesn't look like it so much where like it scares me or anything so yeah also with the strap there's a little tiny tiny serpent's head right there as well that they use for like a button which I thought was a really cool detail and then of course the strap just looks like this it's got two little nodes right here so you can actually adjust the um, length of the bag a little bit I've never seen one where you can adjust it on the like actual leather piece over here usually I feel like they put the adjustable part right here uh, the one thing that I will say I hate about this design on the strap is that these little nodes have like these um, little buttons right where the nodes are attached and this gets caught on my hair all the time there's actually still some hair stuck in here but whenever I go to wear a crossbody like it literally hooks onto my hair and pulls it out which I freaking hate so I have to be a little bit careful when I am putting the bag on and taking it off so I can make sure that it doesn't snag on my hair but other than that I really like the design of the strap and I really love the little small details opening it up it does come with a couple of things which i think are super super cool um the first thing to note is that it does come with compartments there are three compartments and they are very very small i can barely fit my iphone in there i have the iphone plus size and the only way that i can fit it in there is if i like kind of put it diagonal in the back and i actually don't think i can do it with this case all right, so if you have a thin case or no case at all, you can stick it in the back diagonally like so. But um, yeah, with my like silicone apple case, I couldn't even put it in there. So yeah, that kind of sucks. But honestly, my phone is always in my hand anyway, so that doesn't matter too much to me. Um, anyways, so on the very back, there is one pocket. There are no other pockets in this bag besides that one. And the pocket actually has a little like metal plate with the logo on it. And then this bag bag comes with a tiny mirror which I thought was super cool I didn't remove the plastic on the mirror yet but once you remove it it is um, a functioning mirror that you can use and then the color of the mirror on the back actually matches the bag and it has gold hardware just like the bag as well so I thought that was really cool a couple of other things that it came with are I'm pretty sure this is like an authenticity card uh, yeah so you get like this authenticity card and then the sales associate has to kind of fill it out on the back with like where you bought it and the serial number and stuff like that. And then this is really, really cool. I haven't seen any other brands do this, or maybe it's just the brands that I shop from that don't do this, but they actually give you a little plastic raincoat. I've never tried this on, so I want to try it on really fast because I'm really curious. Um, but yeah, they give you a little raincoat for your bag so that if it is raining, I guess if you want to, you can throw your bag under there to protect it. I mean, I've seen um, raincoats for bags before, but never one that's like come with the bag. So you just slip it in like that and I think 
Uh, yeah, there's a button. There you go. <laughs> so you just button it up in the front and it just looks like this. How freaking cute is that? I think that's really funny and I don't know like how much it can protect your bag because there are like two big holes in the side where water can still get in but that's really freaking cute and I appreciate that it came with the bag even though I don't really know how functional that can be. All right, that was pretty much it. I don't really know what else I can think of to say about this bag. I am just super, super happy with it and I love that it's my little souvenir from our wedding trip. And I love how it's just like so unique to my collection. Like, although I do have a couple of bags with a similar shape, I don't have anything from this brand. And yeah, just with the serpent's head and everything, it just makes it so, so unique. So yeah, I'm just really, really happy with it. Please let me know what you guys think of this Serpenti bag. Um, do you guys like this bag? Have you seen it around lately? I don't know. For some reason, I'm drawn to it, even though it's not like a popular bag or anything right now. But hey, if you like it, you like it. Like, who cares if it's popular, right? As always, thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do upload videos every single week. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up as well. And yeah, with that, thank you so, so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye!